Hey guys, this is George with Firehouse Music, and today I wanted to show you um, something a little bit more practical. One of the things that students ask me all the time is like, how can I develop my pinky? And there are some mechanical exercises you can do, like, uh, you know, you have that chromatic exercise and you just double, that, double down on the pinky, um, and things like that. You can just do trills with just a pinky, right? But the thing that those things have in common is that they're pretty boring. So, um, I don't know about you, but I get bored with exercises like that that are just purely mechanical in nature. So I prefer to take something uh, that's a little bit more musical and play with it. And there's nothing better, in my opinion, for that than uh, a pedal point type stuff with the high note being the pedal. So what that means is that we, we play a melody and we keep coming back to the same note. There are other ways in which, um, you know, pedal the word pedal gets used in music, but generally that's what it means. So if I have a descending line, you may recognize this one, um, like this, say we're in D minor. So I'm ke I keep coming back to that note, to that pinky note. So the whole time I'm walking down the scale, but I keep coming back to that note, I play that note in between. Okay? And if you want to play the full motif um, from the Toccata and Fugue in D minor, uh, you can you can play the note on the third string, then you add a little bit of string skipping to that. So then that becomes this. Okay? But it, now, if that's enough for you, if you feel like, okay, that's plenty, I have to learn it, figure it out, cool, do that, great, you can develop your pinky. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, then we can move up to a different position and then transpose. Just play everything um, in the same key. And the interesting thing about doing that in a minor key is that sometimes you might, you're, you might be using the natural minor scale, other times you may be using the melodic minor scale. And your ear will guide you through it. So like in the third position, I like using the minor because it sounds like this. Forgot. And then. And then I move up to fifth position. And then I move up to, what is this? Ninth position, no, I'm sorry. Uh, seventh position. And here, honestly, I want to hear that F sharp, even though it's not in the key, because listen to what this sounds like just with the F natural. Ah. But with the F sharp, it sounds much better. There's a reason that it's a secondary dominant thing, but we're not going to talk about that. I said I wasn't going to do theory today, so we're not going to do that. Then we'll move back up to the ninth position and then play the same thing. So we're still playing, working with the same scale, D minor. And then up to the tenth position. Then the 12th position. And then we're back to where we started. Oh, and you can't see me, but it's the, it was the same pattern, just like you did it here. You do it on the uh, what is this? On the uh, 14th position. It's the same pattern. So give that one a try. Um, if that's overwhelming, if you don't know your scales yet and, you, and you're and you thinking like, man, that's way too much. I don't know the fretboard. I, know, I don't know where the notes are. Don't worry about it. Just work it in one position and play it there. It's going to be great. Um, if you are comfortable moving it up and down the neck, then uh, um, then I recommend you do that because then you're also uh, finding 
finding those notes, you're training your brain to find the notes that you need. Um, and like I said, use your ear. Um, in a minor key, uh, the sixth and the seventh degree are variable. That means that in D minor, like in this case, we have a, a B natural and a B flat and a C natural and a C sharp, and we can use them. Um, just use them, use them judiciously, use your ears. If it sounds good, it's good. If, if not, then something's wrong, you gotta fix it. Um, and doing that live as you're moving, um, it uh, not only trains your ears, but it also trains your fingers to kind of find those notes uh, in a more intuitive way. So give it a try, and if you have any questions, just drop me a line, let me know what you think, um, or, um, yeah, and I'll be happy to help you with anything. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys next time.